While the way we used to work has altered over the years, whether it be farming, brush manufacturing or brick making, how we spend our days off has also changed. Salisbury's fair days used to be a time for hiring labour, but over the years employment opportunities gave way to just having fun. In another example of Ida Moore's work, she recorded Salisbury life by taking her camera right into the action, capturing some poignant moments from the fun fairs held in the 1930s. I always remember the fair because that was the end of October and I, it was probably one of the last fairs that ran before the winter set in. It, it just transformed the, the centre of the city and spread out somewhat into other streets. It's now rather more contained than it was. The fair spread out into the Rue Row and it certainly spread into the cheese market outside the, uh, the what is now the library. I can remember the dodgems were usually over in the corner by the Guild Hall and then you had the roundabouts and all sorts of things and the boxing arena used to be down the bottom end here. It was such an interesting fair because there were so many different stores and uh, you never quite knew who was going to turn up and there were these rather um, weird things with um, um, you know, Siamese babies and things uh, in, in big glass jars. There used to be the funny little people, little dwarfs and the bearded lady and those sort of people. We used to think it was high fun to go look at them. My son, it was about four or five, and he said, uh, we were down there and there was this show with the, the littlest pixie in the world, you see, and Ken said, oh, I'd love to go and see that. So we went in and there was this little midget man and he was sat on an on a, um, armchair and he was quite middle-aged, he wasn't all that young and he got a clicker and as we went through he was clicking to see how many people went through and he said come along come along move along there quickly quickly like Ken said oh he said he's the nastiest little pixie I've ever seen <laughs> he was very upset <laughs> I always remember that oh dear and of course there was the helter scouters and all that kind of thing but, I mean really more or less it was a it was a fun fair I can remember uh, Mrs Heal had the most fantastic caravan that they took round all over the country. And we used to go in and have a wonderful cup of tea. And it was absolutely spotless. They, she had glass, wear, and all sorts of things. They were wonderful people. And they were workers. And of course, I can remember people like Chipperfields being there. You know, they used to have um, a boxing booth. And of course, the young men used to go in and fight for money. Uh, they used to have uh, so many rounds. If they knocked out the chap that was in there, they got so much, which did not happen very often. But there was so much more than in those days, you know. There was that rifle uh, practice they did and all the sweets and things. If we were allowed out an hour in the afternoon, go in the afternoon because you got cheaper fare rides in the afternoon you did in the evening. After a certain time, it went up in money. All those sort of things we used to do. Oh, we'd run around and chase around after the fair boys, all thinking they'd take us away and give us a good life, which they never did. They were gone and left us behind. <laughs> we didn't, that didn't happen, did it? No.